welcome to another exciting edition of Winner Takes All. Now, I've got to tell you straight away, I was reading a ghost story in bed last night. Ooh, spooky, it wasn't it? It gave me nightmares. I dreamed, right? I dreamed I was being chased by ghosts and ghouls. Fortunately, I was only grabbed by the ghosties. <laughs> <laughs> well, I believe in all that stuff, all that spooky stuff, I really do, because I, I once had a car that was haunted, a haunted car. Yeah, and one day, someone came along and repossessed it. <laughs> but do you remember that film, Damien? That was my favourite. Damien, oh, it was a spooky film. It was a devil's son, right? And he had three sixes on the back of his head. Just on the back there, like that. And I was thinking, does that mean police officers' kids have got three 999s back, <laughs> back of their heads? It's worth a thought, isn't it, eh? <laughs> anyway, talking to spooks, let's go and meet the two spooks that are going to be our contestants <laughs> on Winner Takes All. Come on. <laughs> you don't look that scary to me. Well, you might with that shirt on there. This is Ian. This is Ian Otley from Mexenborough, our reigning champion. Welcome back to the show. Feeling yep. confident today? We'll see. Especially, I love that shirt. It is a shirt, or is it a skin disease? <laughs> Smashing, <laughs> like, standing there like electronic deck chair. Now, you're a bit of a sports fan, I, I know, and uh, you go to see all the football matches. Yep. Been to any lately? Any, any interesting ones? Yeah, not so long back. I uh, went back to Inverness. I went to Doncaster to Inverness and back in a day. For really? A, 830. And how long did it take you? Uh, I set off at five o'clock Saturday morning and got home at one o'clock on Sunday morning. Oh, I had a car like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a haunted one. <laughs> anyway, good luck today. Thank you. And I hope you uh, go on to, uh, to win another prize. Thank Let's you. just say, fingers crossed. Now, you are playing against Mr Raymond Ward. Is that right? Ray Ward. And you live in London and you're originally from Sheffield. That's right, Bobby. Where the steel comes from. Uh, yep. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm 49. I'm a civil service librarian with the Department oh. of Health in London. Shh, librarian. <laughs> a library? Are you really a librarian? Yeah. That's what I was, I was in the library the other day, I've got to tell you this, and I went and I said, have you got any books on suicide? And the bloke said, well, if you go along, six along and three down. I went along and there were no books there, so I went and said to him, I said, yes, there's no books there. He said, oh, I said, that's the trouble. And they never bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> they never bring them back. <laughs> anyway, it says, <laughs> it says here, you are a big um, Apollo moon landing fan. Well, Did you actually go and see the... The yeah. Yes, I saw the last two Apollo launchings to the moon, April and December 1972. Hard really? to believe it was that long ago. Was but... it really? It was really. Well, how absolutely fascinating. <laughs> Do you like Patrick Moore? I've I love him. I've met Patrick Moore, yes. Have you really? Yeah. How, how interesting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did he show you his telescope? Uh, no, no. <laughs> you know what they call him, don't you? They call him Isaiah because one Isaiah than the other. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I'm going to upset you because I, I used to be a fan of all this space landing and I, um, I really don't really believe I watched a documentary the other day and, it, and they reckon that it wasn't actually filmed on the moon. Have you heard this? I've heard that, yeah. And uh, apparently, no, I found out they actually filmed it on a set in this very studio. <laughs> it was, it was in the studio. Because there's no atmosphere in here either, is there? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it says here that you were actually on the original um, Winner Takes All. Yes, right? I was. What year was that? 1979. God, blimey. And did yeah. you win anything? No. Oh, it could be a touch of deja vu then, you know. <laughs> anyway, good luck tonight. Talking of deja vu, let's hear from the, uh, the, <laughs> the lady that we always hear from. And that is deja vu. The lovely Gaynor. Are you there, Gaynor? I am, yes, definitely. Do you believe in all this spooky stuff? Oh, I do, and I definitely believe in reincarnation. Reincarnation? Blimey. Uh, who wants to come back as a tin of milk? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good luck to our contestants. The rules are the same as they always are. You get 50 pen uh, points to start with, and you can gamble all those 50 points, or just a small percentage, depending on how confident you are of answering the question. So good luck to you both and can we have our first question please, Gaynor. What is the more common name for Welsh rabbit? Is it beans on toast, tomatoes on toast, cheese on toast, mushrooms on toast or fried egg on toast? Oh, Welsh rabbit, isn't it? No, then I stead for down by here, isn't it? Welsh rabbit. Do you like a bit of Welsh rabbit? Oh, I don't get it. Yeah, when you can get it. Oh, okay. oh, um, so, how many points are you going to gamble? Um, I'm pretty confident, so I'll go for 40. Okay, 40 points. What about yourself? I'll go 40 as well, please, all right? Okay, right. Press those buttons, gamble away. <laughs> yes, yeah, so both gone for four to one. Cheese on toast. Well, Welsh rabbit or Welsh rarebit, whichever way you like to pronounce it, is in fact cheese on toast. Well played. <laughs> A good start. Question number two, please, Gaynor. Four originals of the Magna Carta remain. Two are in the British Library, one is in Salisbury Cathedral, but where is the fourth held? Is it Lincoln Castle, Westminster Abbey, Canterbury Cathedral, York Cathedral, or Leeds Castle? The Magna Carta was signed at Runnymede, I believe that was. Um, Raymond. We'll go 30, I think, Bobby. We'll go 30 on this, okay. Ian? Uh, I'll go full 50. You're going to go 450. Okay. 
Four, sorry, 450. <laughs> 450? You can't go 450. 50. Full 50. Full 50. I yeah. thought you said 450. <laughs> it's me ears, you know, they're going. OK, <laughs> press those buttons, gamble away. OK, let's have a look. You both up the two to one. Lincoln Castle, are they correct? They certainly are. Well played. <laughs> There's nothing in it as we get to question number three. Thank you, Gaynor. In ancient Egypt, the goddess Bast carries an ancient percussion instrument, a breastplate, and a small bag. Which animal's head does she have? Ugh. Is it a camel, a cat, a dog, a phoenix, or a goat? There we go. Well, what about that then, Ian? I'm not so sure on that. I'll just no, go for 20 on that one. OK, 20 points. Right. I'll go 50, I think, Bobby. Oh, you're confident on that one. OK, and then bang those knobs and gamble away. <laughs> well, you're both going for the three to one, which is a cat. Yes, Bast has a cat's head. He does have a cat. Yeah. Well played. OK, let's have a look at the score, shall we? Ray, you've got 420. Ian, you've got 370. As we come to question number four. Thank you, Gaynor. What is the name of Tommy Lee's band? Is it Motley Crue, Motorhead, Hammer, ACDC or Black Sabbath? There we go. What do you like on your heavy rock? Um, I'm fairly confident on this one. Oh, yeah. um, because I've read, read a lot about more about his wife than him. Really? Uh, you just read about her? Oh, he's ex-wife. He's ex-wife. Are they still married? I don't know. No, really. I don't think they are. They're not. not I'll go 50. So there's hope for you I'll yet, then, isn't there? There's hope for you yet. I'll go 50. 50 points, fair enough. Then what about yourself, Ian? Yes, I'll match that. Okie dokie. Well, bang those knobs and gamble away. There we go. Well, you've gone for Motley Crue, two to one. Are they correct? They certainly are, yes. Lovely Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson, two of my favourites. Right, let's have a look at the old scores. Ray, you've got 520. Ian, uh, you've got 470. So it comes down to the last question. Good luck to you both. The fifth and final question, please, Gaynor. The moons Phobos and Deimos travel around which planet? Is it Mercury, Pluto, Neptune, Mars or Jupiter? Well, there you go. The moons Phobos and Deimos uh, travel around which planet? Uh, what about it then, Ian? Um, last question, I've got to go 50. You've got to go 50, and what about it? I bet Patrick Moore knows that. Of course, yes. Perfect question for a space fan. I'll go, I'll go 50. Marvellous. Well, uh, bang your knobs and gamble away. <laughs> right, well, they've both gone for Mars at 5 to 1. Mars is correct. Well played! <laughs> Let's have a look at the scores. That's the last question. Ray, you got 770, and Ian, you got 720. So sadly, Ian, you didn't get hold of that um, uh, palm top computer this time. Disappointed? Absolutely. Oh, well, well, never mind. <laughs> Absolutely, he's gutted. He's gutted. <laughs> but never mind. Well played. Don't go away empty-handed. Of course, you do get our winner takes all consolation prize of a compendium of games, a wristwatch, and of course that lovely paperweight. It's been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you. Well done, sir. And congratulations to this young man who is now going through to our final. Thank you. Of winner takes all. <laughs> well played. Ray. So it's the next round of Winner Takes All and, of course, uh, the next batch of contestants. Uh, to my left, we have a young man called Mark Stent, and you're from Cheshire, is that right? I am a bit, yep. And it says here that you're an NHS expenses officer. So do you get to fill your prescriptions? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty expensive prescriptions, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are. I remember I had a prescription, and I took it to the, uh, took it to the chemist, and it bounced. <laughs> <laughs> it says here that you are a mad Man City fan. Well, you've got to be mad if you support City, <laughs> haven't you? <laughs> How are they doing this year? Oh, uh, not too bad. Oh, yeah, I'm doing all right. Yeah, doing bad. Bad. I phoned him yeah. up the other day. I said, what time does the match start? He said, what time can you get here? <laughs> <laughs> it says here that you'd like to be a director on the board. Is that right? Yeah. That's yeah, your just dream. Maybe, yeah, maybe just for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Really? That's what I'd like there to be. Just for a couple of, yeah. couple of weeks? Yeah, a couple of weeks. <laughs> now, do you go? Do you go up to the oh, yeah. matches? Yeah, regular. Oh, yeah. fantastic. And it says here that you'd love to be... Oh, this is interesting. You'd love to be camp in a red coat on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Is that right? She's going there, dear. I can't wait. I'll get to you then. It says, is that right? No, sorry. You want to be a red coat in a holiday camp? Yeah, that's right. Dear, they're going to print these up properly. I can't understand a word of them. Is that right? What camp? Oh, any. Bucklins, Pontins, oh, blue coat, red coat, yellow. Have you been on holiday there? Where? Holidays. Yeah, no, holidays. No, not Pontins. No. Never been. No. Oh, well, we've got a nice green. I don't know if they have. I don't know if they have any of these sort of entertainment managers in green shirts. Just red coats. Well, listen. Welcome to the show. Thank Enjoy you. yourself. Hope you were successful. Now we've got lovely Jean Blake, the giggler. This lady's always giggling. Jean, you're from Essex, is that right? No, I'm not. I'm from Sussex. Oh, that's a good start, isn't it? I have to say that. Isn't it? From Sussex. 
<laughs> that says you're married with five children. That's quite right. Blimey, have you got any more of his? No. No, <laughs> no, no me, I've no had a bike. Oh, he had a bike, did he? Oh, dear. <laughs> That's before you got married. That's right. Fair enough. Now it says <laughs> you're accident prone. Oh, very Well, very with very five kids, I'm not surprised, Adam. <laughs> it says, at least it's something you didn't drop. It's. Uh... <laughs> Now, what, what else do you like doing, Jim? I like singing. Do you? Yeah, and I like swimming. Do you? Do you like singing in the bath? Oh, regular. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> it's splish splash and all that. Sounds good in the bath, doesn't it? Yes, yes. And it says here that you do a lot of karaoke. Well, I like karaoke, Oh, uh, yes. what's your favourite? Well, I... I don't mind, really. Shirley Bassey. Oh, you like Shirley... <laughs> do you like Shirley Bassey? You go, give us a bit of Shirley Bassey. Well... Hey, big spender! Whoa, hey, 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 hey. I'm with Spend. me! Do the bit. Ooh. The miniature walk through the door. <laughs> boom, boom. I could tell you were a man of distinction. Yeah, very interesting. Well, enjoy the show. Thank you. Have a good time. And now, let's hear from Gaynor. Are you there, Gaynor? I am. Hey, do you like karaoke? Well, I'd rather watch or rather listen to other people because I can't sing. I can't get my words out either. <laughs> well, I don't know why we hired you then, really. <laughs> I'm cheap. Let's keep our fingers crossed, Jean, yes. as we play the game. Good luck to you both. 50 points to start with. Remember, you can gavel those 50 points or just a small percentage, depending on how confident you are. I've answered the question. Question number one, please, Gaynor. Which singer had hits with Wuthering Heights and Man with a Child in His Eyes? Was it Barbara Dixon, Crystal Gale, Kate Bush... Elaine Page or Elton John? Yeah, the man with the child in his eyes. Remember it well. Do you remember it, Jean? Yes, I do. Do you? Yes. So you're quite confident on this. How many points are you going to gamble? I'll gamble 35. You're going to gamble 35. Yes. OK. And yourself, Mark? Uh, I'm going to take it steady and match that and go 35. 35. Also. OK, then. Bang your knobs. Gamble away. <laughs> And they both agreed to agree with the four to one shot, Kate Bush. And Kate Bush is right. Is correct. Wobbling, wobbling, wobbling heights. It's like stars in your eyes on this show today. <laughs> right, question number two, please, Gaynor. The Bolin, Diamond, Surgeon, and Wall are all what? Are they knots, freshwater fish, gems, instruments, or brickwork patterns? Ah, the Bolin, Diamond, Surgeon, wall, and Wall are what, Mark? Uh, I've no idea, but I'm going 50 anyway. That's the way to gamble. Nice and bold. Uh, Jean? I'll go 20. You're going to go 20. OK, dokie. Press those buttons and gamble away. <laughs> OK, brickwork patterns for you, Jean. And uh, the three to one freshwater fish from Mark. It is, in fact, the two to one shot, knots. Knots. Of course it's knots. Yes. Yeah, I've never caught, a, I've never caught <laughs> one of these. A brolene or anything. I do a bit of fishing myself. Yeah, it's only because I've got worms <laughs> in a little pot. Anyway, listen up for that. Let's have question number three, please. Kayla. How many equal sides are there on a scalene triangle? Are there three, two, none, one, or four? Jean. <laughs> what do you like on triangles? <laughs> well, roundabouts, I'm good, but triangles. <laughs> <laughs> roundabouts. <laughs> um, oh, I'm going to go. Uh, 15. You're going to go 15. Yes. OK, Mark. Yes. Uh, you remember your geometry <laughs> at uh, school? Excellent. Oh, you were good, were you? Yeah, I go five. OK, OK. <laughs> well, that good, eh? Hey? Well, that good. Let's <laughs> see your O-level results. <laughs> OK, let's have the... Uh, have those buttons pressed, please. Gamble away. <laughs> oh, you both agree to agree with none. Well, Four to both, one. They're both very clever, because it is none. It is none. Yeah! Well played. <laughs> Oh, Jean's getting all excited. And it's into question number four. Thank you, Gator. Right, well, this is a visual question, so take a look at your monitors. Oh. This gentleman is the current host of Family Fortunes, but can you name the original host of the hit TV show? Is it Max Bygraves, Bruce Forsyth, Shane Ritchie, Jimmy Tarbuck, or Bob Monkhouse? There we go. Well, I know the answer to this one. Tell uh, me, then. Jean, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Work it out on your own. Jean. Did you used to watch it before Les did the show? Uh, yes, I did. My twin brother, Les <laughs> Dennis. Well, you've got to... Uh, oh, I've got to... Tell me how many points you've oh, prepared yeah, to gamble. Oh, yeah, I'll go 50. 50 points. Yes. OK, what about Mark? I'll go for 50 as well. Okie dokie, press those <laughs> buttons and gamble away. <laughs> and you both agree to agree with Bob Monkhouse at 10 to 1. Yeah. Good old Bob. Good old Bob, and yes, it was good old Bob. Good old Bob, well played! <laughs> <laughs> well, they say on Family Fortunes, 
<laughs> now then, let's have a look at the scores. Jean, you've got 730, so you're just ahead of Mark with 660. So it's uh, pretty tight as we come to the fifth and final question. Thank you, Gaynor. What is the astrological sign for the Chinese New Year beginning the 5th of February, the year 2000? Is it the horse, the rabbit, the tiger, the dragon or the snake? Oh, what do you reckon to that then, Mark? Chinese New Year. It's an easy one, that, isn't it? <laughs> um, 50. 50. OK, you're going to go 50 points. How many points would you like to gamble, Jean? Oh, 20. 20. OK, good luck to you both. Finally, press those buttons and gamble away. And they're going for a difference of opinion. And Mark's gone for the dragon, 5 to 1. And Jean, you've gone for the ah, tiger. Well, the year of the dragon is the year 2000. Well played. <laughs> well played, Mark. Let's have a look at the scores. There we go. Well, Mark does take the commanding lead with 910, and uh, Jean, sadly, you come in second with 710. Yeah. But you've had a good time, haven't you? I have, yes. Have you really enjoyed yourself? I really have. We don't go away empty-handed. You do get to take away a winner-takes-all compendium of games, paperweight, and a lovely watch, and a nice big kiss oh. for me. Mm. Oh, lovely. Oh, she's lovely, Jeff. She's lovely, isn't she? <laughs> a bit more singing. I do spend, a, spend lovely, lovely. a little time with me. <laughs> I will do. After the break, as <laughs> we come back to play the final on Winner Takes All. See you then. And we're to walk through the door. Yes, hello and welcome back to Winner Takes All. And our two finalists today are Raymond and Mark. And Mark, I believe uh, you are from Cheshire and you're an NHS expenses officer and you're also married. I and am. What's married. your wife's name? She's called Lorraine. Lorraine. Is she out there? Give a little wave. Give She's a lovely girl. Hello, Lorraine. Hello. Yes, sir. And I believe you, uh, you got engaged to her in McDonald's. Is that yes. true? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did you stick on her finger? An onion ring. <laughs> An onion ring. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck for the final. And, sir, Ray right here, yeah. our heavenly body expert. Now, Apollo. Oh, sorry, I love going on about this, but have you seen Apollo 13, the film? Yeah, uh, no, I haven't, no. Blimey, nor have I. I never saw the first 12. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, welcome to, the show. welcome to the final, rather, and good luck. And talking of heavenly bodies, let's hear about the prizes from our heavenly body, Gainer. Well, for one show, Bobby, our contestants are playing for a 2.3-inch pocket television. For two shows, our contestants have the chance to win this incredible palm-top computer. Win three shows, and our contestants will find themselves on a three-night break in Gay Paris. For four shows, the ultimate in NICAM stereo television awaits the winner. But for five shows, our contestants will find themselves winging their way on a holiday of a lifetime, flying to Las Vegas, the gambling capital of the world. Uh, what about that, then? Some fabulous prizes. Good luck to you both. 50 points to start with. The rules apply exactly the same as the previous rounds. Can we have our first question, please, Gaynor? What is post-restaurant? Is it a French inn, a resting place, a postman, a postal service for travellers, or a restraining order. What is a post-restaurant? Uh, Mark, do you think you know uh, what that is? We'll just go for a steady five. A steady, steady five points. That's the way to play it. Not too sure. Five points you're prepared to gamble. What about yourself, Ray? Uh, I'm a bit more confident. I'll go 40. 40. Oh, very confident. Press those buttons and gamble away. Well, they've uh, a difference of opinion here. Five to one for Ray and ten to one uh, for Mark. Well, the post restaurant is a postal service for travellers. Well played! <laughs> well, you were confident there. A nice start for the final. Question number two, please, Gaynor. Which family of trees is the sycamore a member of? Is it a maple, an oak, a fir, a beech, or an ash? Which family of trees is the sycamore a member of? Ray. Ooh, I'm not really into the things of nature. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I am. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go 15, Bobby. How many points are you prepared to gamble? 15, Bobby. 15. OK, Mark. Um, do you know your trees? Yeah. yeah I do. Yeah. Oh, five do. again. Five again. Yes. <laughs> All right, so confident. OK, five points. You're prepared to gamble. Press those buttons and gamble away. <laughs> and you both agreed to agree with the three to one, which is an oak. Well, the sycamore tree is a member of the maple family. Ah, so you were both incorrect there. So you were wise not to gamble too many points. And can we have question number three, please, Gain? Which actor played the role of Doctor Who for the longest time? Was it Peter Davison, Colin Baker, John Pertwee, Tom Baker or William Hartnell? There we go. Are you a Doctor Who fan, Mark? Uh, no. <laughs> so how many points are you prepared to gamble on this one? Well, um, we'll gamble a bit more this time. We'll try a ten. A ten points? God, you're so, uh, so confident. That's what we like on this show. Ray, 
You used to like the old sci-fi show, not Doctor really, Who? Not really, no. A friend of mine is the biggest Doctor Who expert in the world. Is he really? But he's not here, so he's he not can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> and you haven't got time to phone so, him up. So I'll go 25. You're going to go 25, OK. Fair enough. 25 points, press your buttons and gamble away. And, well, you've gone for uh, the 4 to 1, John Pertry, and you've gone for the uh, 5 to 1, Ray, uh, Tom Baker. Who was correct, if any? Well, Tom Baker, in fact, played the Doctor for seven years. Oh, well played, Ray. Phew! <laughs> Your mate would be pleased about that, won't he? Yeah, There yeah. we go. Oh, I used to like John Pertry, he was my favourite. And I used to like when he was in Wurzel Gummidge, remember him? Yeah. Cup of tea and a slice of cake. <laughs> I'll be bummed with it if it ain't question four from lovely Aunt Sally there. Uh, can we have it, please, Aunt Sally? Question number four, thank you very much. In American history, Davy Crockett died at which battle? Was it Bunker Hill, Heights of Abraham, the Alamo, Gettysburg or Saratoga? In American history, Davy Crockett died at which battle? I'll give it a clue. It was his last one. <laughs> Ray. <laughs> a bit more confident about this one, Bobby. Good, I'll go good, 50. Good. OK, 50. And Mark? Uh, I'm not going to leave myself short. No. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go with 25. 25. Fair yeah. enough. Then press those buttons and gamble away. There we go. Let's have a look. You've agreed to agree. The Alamo, 4 to 1. Davy Crockett died at the Alamo. Now then, let's have a look at the scores. <laughs> Mark, you've got 130, but Ray, you're quite a way ahead with 560, so please bear that in mind as we have the last and final question for the final of Winner Takes All, question number five. Thank you, Gaynor. Each Christmas, a cutting from a thorn tree is sent to the reigning monarch. The cutting is from St John's Church in which town? Is it Dewsbury, Glastonbury, Salisbury, Tetbury? Or Thornbury. There we go. Now, Mark, how do you feel about this one? You've got a bit of catching up to do. Well, we're going to go all the 50 on this one. You're prepared to gamble 50 yep. points. I think you have to. And Ray? I'll go 30, Bobby. You're going to go 30. Well, good luck to you both as you press those buttons for the last time in today's final. Gamble away. And there's a difference of opinion. Um, three to one for Raymond and ten to one for Mark. Which one had the correct answer? Well, the cutting that is taken from the thorn tree is in Glastonbury. It's in Glastonbury. Well played. <laughs> well played, Raymond. But commiserations to Mark. You didn't quite do it. You weren't very confident in that last round. There were pretty sticky, um, sticky questions, but you've had a good time, haven't you? Excellent. What a great well, time. Well, thank, thank you very you. much for coming on Winner Takes All. You don't go away empty-handed. You do, of course, get your consolation prizes of the Compendium of Games, Paperweight, and that fabulous <laughs> wristwatch. And, Ray, you have won at last. After how many years you've waited for this? <laughs> Look at his 18, 18 years. 18 years. It's a long time, Bobby. Yes, and you've won yourself that fantastic prize. 18 years of waiting to win that marvellous mini television. <laughs> yeah, pocket television. Now then, I'm going to ask you, he's holding on for dear life. Now, please, don't take the television away from me now. <laughs> Not after 18 years. <laughs> now, tell me, are you prepared to gamble that TV and come back and try for the palm top computer? I'll do that. He's going to do it. Of course you are. He's a gambler. That's what it's all about. Winner takes all gambling. We'll see you next time. Winner takes all. Well played. Raymond, our champion. Congratulations. Thank you.